Welcome to Approve or Return a Deposit to Draft. This video is closed captioned. In this video, you will learn how to approve a deposit and return a deposit to draft. In this example, we are approving a deposit for $200. If you are a deposit approver, you can approve deposits or return deposits to draft in OTCNet. Let's begin. From the Deposit Processing tab, click View Deposits. From the Select Display drop-down menu, Deposits in Error, Adjustments in Error, My Deposits in Process, and Deposits within My Organization appear. Depending on your user permission, all of these results may not display. In this example, we'll select My Deposits in Process, the default. It displays your current deposits. You may submit any deposit with an awaiting approval or AWOP status. Click a voucher number with AWOP status. Review the details and click Return to Draft to return the deposit voucher to draft status, or click Submit to submit the deposit to your financial institution. In this example, we'll click Submit. After a deposit is submitted, it cannot be modified. A confirmation page appears confirming the deposit was submitted to the financial institution. Next, let's scroll to the bottom of the page to print the deposit ticket. Click Print Deposit Ticket. The OTCNet Deposit Ticket and Print dialog window appears. Click Print. Now let's take a look at the OTCNet Deposit Ticket window. Note the details of your deposit. If you entered Block 6 information, it appears here. Now you have learned how to approve a deposit and return a deposit to draft. For additional information, visit the OTCNet training site.